Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel Scorpio. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good Scorpio. Thank you so much Scorpio for supporting the channel. Thank you so much Scorpio for being here. If you would like to further connect with me Scorpio, please click the bell. Click subscribe. Let us see what is coming towards you Scorpio. What is the guided message, Scorpio, that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? This is for the Scorpio sign, please. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. This is an open message for the Scorpio sign. I want you to think of your focus, your situation, any worries and concern. If it's a person, think about your person. I'll connect with you and let's look into your channeled message this is for the scorpio sign thank ooh, why is this here this devil oof oof it's following you scorpio what can i get for the scorpio sign what is the message that is meant for you to know scorpio let me do some energy check in there is some bad vibe in here scorpio but there's nothing to worry because you are so strong scorpio okay the seven of wands there is some purging here scorpio we just had the new moon so there's a devil card okay all right scorpio let me just hold the microphone so you can hear me so you're starting the reading with the empress card i feel like the em look at this this empress card she's so beautiful okay the Empress card represents all beauty and all kind. The Empress card is the light. <laughs> Next to the light is the Devil card. This is the dark. There is lightness and darkness. Inside of each one of us is there's light and dark. And it is depending on what you feed, Scorpio. So right now, which one are you feeding? The light-hearted soul or the darkness? Okay? So each, especially Scorpio, you have some darkness. Sometimes you go dark before you come into the light, Scorpio. So this Empress card and the Devil card in here, sometimes if you hold too much into the dark, it costs you to have a Five of Cups. Anything that he, anything that puts you into the dark thoughts, like if you don't feel good, if you're, if you don't feel good, if your vibe is off, if it's producing, like for example, if you're irritated with me, or if you don't like what you're doing, if your vibe, if your instinct and vibe is off, don't do it, because it's gonna trigger the devil. It's going to trigger the darkness. It's like a reading where, you know, life is fulfilling your dharma, Scorpio. We have the karma and dharma. So life living in both the light and the dark within us is choosing to fulfill the dharma. Even though we're no angel. Nobody's an angel. I am no angel. I practice spirituality and being kind and being understanding and everything, but I'm no angel, but I try to be. I always choose the light and the right. That's for me, living into your dharma or your sacred purpose is that no matter how dark it is, we've got to choose the light. We've got to choose our sacred purpose or the dharma, okay? It's about serving from... It's about thinking, feeling, and serving from a space of authenticity and living, living, living authentically and living to choose the light every day, you know. And with the Five of Cups in here, there are some people that's going to put you in the dark, the devil card. There are some situations that it's going to trigger you to be the devil. There are some people that it's going to make you bad like the devil. So when you know, Scorpio, that you're being triggered to go into the devil, to go into the dark thoughts, this is your signal to find the light. 
It is your dharma. It is your sacred purpose. It is your sacred purpose to realign yourself every time you go into the dark. Because if you stay too much in there, you will always feel the five of cups. I don't know what's going on with you. I don't know what's your pain, what's your hurt, what's your struggle. But always find the light. No matter how difficult life is, always, always find the light. You know, because it's so good to feel optimistic. It's so good to hope. It's, it feels so good to be faithful, to be optimistic, to, to strive to survive Scorpio you are a survivor so I don't know what's going on with you but find the light you know find the light find the hope have faith look for people to inspire you I hope I am inspiring you watch good movies of inspiration listen to you know music uh listen to music of inspiration watch movies of inspiration listen to nice song or you know sometimes it will just take a donut or ice cream just a little bit of sugar i'm telling you it's gonna you're gonna <laughs> you're going to forget the five of cups in here so for some of you so find the light okay find keep your dharma light okay the you know like the empress card the empress card in here keep your dharma keep choose always the light the sacred purpose in here no matter how dark choose the empress the empress card in here and of course sometimes it hurts sometimes you know it's it's a feeling that no matter how difficult it is we have to be authentic like no matter how we like this person we we, li we like this person we like the situation but if it's not giving us the good vibe, we have to be authentic and do what's best for us to come back into the light. Because if we're embracing something that it doesn't feel good, we're not being we're not being authentic to our soul. Okay, and you know that being authentic is like the hallmark. Being honest is like a hallmark. Okay, so always find the light. Remember your sacred purpose, Scorpio. And be authentic. Be authentic with your soul. If you don't like this person, if you don't feel good of what they're doing, of what they're doing, you can walk out, be quiet, and keep your dignity. Or you can assert yourself and tell them exactly what it is. But don't stay too much in the five of cups. I don't know what's going on, Scorpio, but I don't like the combination of the devil card and the five of cups. Seven of Cups, it's okay to be confused. It's okay to be lost. But always find your light, Scorpio. You know, Scorpio, the thing with Scorpio is that you can do this with Scorpio. But once you get into your battlefield again, you're stronger. The more they do this to you, the more, the more you get stronger. Okay. So whatever you're going through right now, it's just going to make you stronger. I'm telling you, it's just going to make you stronger, Scorpio. Okay, so just hang on there. You will find the light. Look into the light. It is your duty to find. We have so many tools. There's so many self-help, Scorpio. There is so many self-help that you can reach. Just go to YouTube. There's so many coach readers, you know, light workers that was dispatched to lift the spirit you know there's so many of us i hope that's you know that's i you know i'm i'm part of that but there's so many self help to assist you whatever you're going through okay all right scorpio that's kind of heavy okay now all right now um okay now what is coming towards you scorpio you have um there's a call the page of cups so the page of cups what's coming towards you this page of cups it is so funny this page of cups is coming from a king of wands um someone changed their number like someone literally changed their number so they can call you maybe you block this person or someone is gonna make an excuse to, hey Scorpio, I've changed my number. Something changed in me. I'm calling, I'm texting, I'm reaching out to tell you of this change. 
someone is going to update you of a change that is happening that's happening in them and that is their excuse to tell you or that's an excuse to call you or text you or to connect with you this person with the page of cups and the king of wands in here yeah the hangman there's a message from a king of wands you know what the last time i did your reading with this channel we also have the king of wands i think so this person is always following you the hangman mm, ace of cups someone is gonna reach out okay scorpio um someone is gonna reach out it looks like a lover it it looks like a lover but it could also be like a it feels like a previous partnership in here scorpio it looks like a lover it looks like a friendship too but they're they're making an excuse to text you to call you or to talk to you and to update you in something um you know in my country we call it papansin papam pam or they're just trying like they're trying to get an excuse to talk to you whoever this king of wands is and depending on your mood if you are engaging if you are responding if you are you know responding to them they will be delighted they would be very happy with the ace of cups magician card queen of swords they will invite you out scorpio like you know they will invite you out i don't think this is the first time they've done this or there's something repeat history about the situation or person to be honest with you whoever this person is they refuse to give up they refuse to give up um they're very sweet scorpio whoever this person is they're very sweet i'm also picking up like this person is also very apologetic let's see yet two of swords if you snub them if you do not react or if you snub them um they will be very sad and they will they will leave you an open invitation with the queen of swords in here because this is the, the magician card it's like hey i'm i thought of you and i'm like what's what's the example of what sh like this person page of her hey scorpio i've changed company don't email me there or i've changed job i've changed this or i just want to update you about something um and then after that how are you anyway and magician card they're they're like they're shifting the conversation from something casual and thoughtful and romantic the magician card i've been thinking about you i miss you the magician card i don't know uh you're very intuitive you're too intuitive you can smell that this person is you're just making an excuse to message me you actually wanted to chat with me and there's a part of you with the queen of swords that i wish you would just go direct because i would appreciate further anyway they have some drama okay and um so if you are responsive great they it like if you're responsive and engage with them uh if you're responding to them real time or if you're responding with them quickly it will make them feel more motivated to connect with you uh to be more romantic with you to be more sweet with you uh with the magician card in here and eventually they're gonna ask you out but if you're not engaged whether you're busy you're not engaging whether you're busy or not interested um they will tell you queen of swords like hey scorpio um like they will leave you an open invitation it's like um i really miss you i wanted to see you and this is my availability let me know if you're free so they're gonna open it open they're gonna leave you with an open invitation scorpio okay all right so that's the queen of swords let me get another one yeah eight of wands they're very keen so they will even follow up so eight of wands this is eight so yeah you have an open invitation from a lover from a friend in here from a frenemy for some of you guys it's an interesting it would be nice if they see you or if they talk to you because there's something warm i don't know why i'm seeing like marshmallow but i don't th there's something sweet there's something unique um also if you do give them a chance like the minute this person like see you again 
they will hug you so tight scorpio so you would remember how it feels so good to be around this person i think you might have forgotten that um if you spend lots of time with them you might fall in love again okay that, that's a possibility in here okay let's see yeah if you see like if you see them you won't be disappointed eight of pentacles you might play cupid a little bit you know eight and two the chariot card so i'm kind of picking up for some of you guys you really want this person to pursue you they will do that they will do that okay now there's another you know the ten of cups and the seven of wands it feels like this is tied together the energy attached to the ten of cups and the seven of wands um the ten of cups the seven of wands you know there's a feeling of why me um the seven of wands it could be you it could be a reciprocated like the seven of wands in here scorpio um there's a feeling that you're gonna confront some confront someone i get the feeling that i get this feeling that you will be having like there is a future conversation that you would do and it's connected to a person why me why did you hurt me why me so there is a repeat story of the pain or disappointment that they did because there's a ten of cups there's something heavy in here it looks like you will be in front or confront like you will assert or confront someone and i'm hearing the word why me why did you hurt me why did you disappoint me why did you ghost me um let's see the four of wands yeah i feel like it's sad yeah the temperance card the queen of pentacles look maybe this is the same person but it could be different because it might be a family it might be a lover this one is like lover and friend this one is family or a lover okay um this might happen very soon that you would be stuck in a conversation like you will be i don't know how it's gonna happen like i'm i'm, I'm, I'm not seeing the the wholeness of how you're gonna reach out who's gonna reach out but i'm kind of like you're gonna be in a conversation you're in a maybe it's a confrontation it's it quite it is quite intense but you're gonna ask them why me why did you ghost at me why did you hurt me with the temperance card in the queen of pentacles like look at the pentacles in here why did you hurt me why did you disappoint me the temperance card the advice to you scorpio is that relinquish the blame and resolve what is like relinquish the blame and resolve which is needed to be resolved what is unresolved within okay let's keep it it's gonna make you high blood <laughs> i'm gonna tell you something whoever this person is it could be family it's gonna make you live it like it, it's gonna make you your it's just gonna make you upset okay it's it's gonna make you upset it's gonna make you angry you will have a confrontation you will have a moment you will have the chance to confront someone who did you wrong why is your question um it could lead to a further spat or it could lead to a further you know um quarrel the universe and your higher self is advising you to relinquish the blame game listen with an open mind and open heart and look into what can you resolve what can you let go how can you move on from the why me you have some pain in here um i feel like you aim for a slightly like i don't know but invite empathy and kindness and compassion in the equation scorpio i feel like you kind of need to have because if you get yourself angry you're gonna be high blood it's not good for you 
it's very intense i feel like this is around mid of august scorpio just take it easy scorpio confront them if you can avoid the blame avoid it and if you can tell them talk what is your real intention relinquish the blame look within the unresolved feelings if it's gonna make you angry you would better step back it's gonna make you emotional it's gonna make you angry scorpio i don't want you to be angry i don't want you to be upset it's like it's gonna make your cheeks so red like you know so have empathy invite empathy and kindness and compassion and good vibe in the equation because whoever this person is they won't leave until they get their peace with you so look after your energy okay i think that's about it i have stopped hearing the noises and i'll see you soon again scorpio thank you so much scorpio for connecting with me thank you so much guys for being here if you would like to further connect with me click the bell click subscribe i will see you soon you have a great day scorpio